This is Field Sports Channel News. Field Sports groups are warning that the welfare of game birds is under threat because of the chaos surrounding the last minute changes to general licenses. Gamekeepers and shoots face tough decisions if DEFRA doesn't issue individual licenses on time to release game birds near European designated special protection areas in England. On the 31st of May 2023, the government announced the new licensing regime. Field sports groups have banded together to launch a judicial review. Basque is worried that shoots near SPAs, which can't get licenses, will have to cancel shooting. More red tape and businesses in Wales are warning that government proposals for stricter regulations of partridge and pheasant shooting could cost jobs in rural communities. Under new proposals, shoots will only be able to release game birds under licence. A government consultation on the issue recently closed. One pub landlord in Wrexham says he's worried he'll have to close for part of the year. He says shooting helps his pub survive the winter months and that 25 of his customers rely on shooting for their jobs. Welsh Climate Change Minister Julie James sparked outrage recently by describing killing anything as a sport or leisure as not something any civilised society should support. Basque says shooting in Wales is worth £75 million annually to the rural Welsh economy, supporting the equivalent of 2,400 full-time jobs. You know, this is not just about the shoots, this is about, you know, in my case, the waitresses, the, the, the housekeeping staff, the chefs, the, the receptionists, but, but, you know, look at the community generally. I mean, you know, you've got picker-uppers, you've got beaters, you know, who often retired, do it for, for, for pocket money. Well, that, that pays for their food for the week, that pays for their electricity for the week. And they really rely on this income, you know, and this is something that Welsh Government don't seem to understand because simply they don't have a grasp of Wales outside of Cardiff. Northern Ireland needs urgent action to tackle its backlog of firearms licensing applications. The Police Service of Northern Ireland, PSNI, Firearms and Explosive Branch, has reduced the delays, but shooting organisations say it must redouble efforts to deliver the service it promised when it introduced a new online system. It's more than a year since the PSNI declared a critical incident in Northern Ireland over firearms licensing. The Countryside Alliance is concerned that impending cuts in policing budgets is likely to make things worse. The budget for Northern Ireland has had to be set by the Secretary of State. Uh, as a fallout from that, the Police Service of Northern Ireland are due to have a reduction in their budget of around £150 million, um, which uh, the police have said it would make policing almost impossible and there will be severe cuts across the service and the service will take longer to deliver um, uh, its required functions than it would normally do. Conservative peers may try to derail a proposed British ban on trophy imports. They're banding together to take action as they fear a private member's bill by Henry Smith MP will harm efforts to protect endangered animals. The Hunting Trophies Import Prohibition Bill cleared its first hurdle in the House of Lords, but limited parliamentary time set aside for it means any amendments approved by the Lords could kill it. Lord Mancroft plans to table a conservation amendment so that a hunter could import a trophy if there were a demonstrable conservation benefit from the hunting. The bill is already damaged by Brexit arrangements, which means it doesn't cover Northern Ireland. Magistrates have fined a firm half a million pounds for causing devastating river pollution. The incident killed more than 135,000 fish. The UK's largest liquid fertiliser manufacturer, Omex Agriculture, admitted causing the leak, which polluted a 28-mile stretch to the wash at Boston. The company released around 3 million litres of liquid fertiliser into the River Witham in Lincolnshire in March 2018. Gamekeepers are hitting out at the Scottish Government's proposed new plans for red stags. The Scottish Gamekeepers Association's deer group criticises proposed new rules, which will see the removal of closed male deer seasons in Scotland and the legalisation of thermal scopes for culling deer. The SGA says it's not convinced that targeting males all year round will reduce deer numbers. It's also concerned about changes to bullet weights to encourage greater take-up of copper bullets for shooting deer. The SGA says it has significant animal welfare and safety concerns. It says if thermal scopes are licensed, it wants mandatory training for them. The consultation opened on May the 18th and closed on June the 18th. Country people in the Peak District have created their own Spring Watch. 
called The Real Spring Watch, the Peak District Moreland Group is posting footage and photographs of birds and animals every day in June on its Facebook page, link below. It has set up cameras to capture a glimpse of the range of wildlife that live on the moorlands, from oyster catchers to deer. It's the third year the group has set up the cameras and shared the footage. It wants to give the BBC TV show a run for its money. Ours is the real spring watch. We're showing and sharing what happens on managed moorlands with an interest of grouse shooting and adjacent farmland. Log on to Peak District Moorland Group on Facebook, like and share our posts and like and share our group. Thank you very much. A clay pigeon shoot has raised more than £100,000 for charity. The money raised will go to My Name's Doddy Foundation, QME Care and Prostate Scotland. Eskdale Shooting Services organised the event at the Duke of Northumberland's Burn Castle Estate. It attracted sporting shooters from throughout the UK and overseas. Good news for hunters in Finland. The newly elected Finnish government has released a policy paper which underlines its intention to cancel the hunting trophy import ban. In the paper, the new coalition government expresses strong support of hunting. It states that it intends to revert to the CITES International Treaty. And finally, a driver has filmed a big cat prowling a Welsh village. 22-year-old Morgan Taylor was making a delivery in Blyna Gwent when he saw the creature. His video shows what looks like a lynx. He said it was massive, claiming it measured up to two metres long and added that he was petrified when he saw it, though he was unpetrified enough to wind up his window when it approached him. In 2017, a lynx that escaped from a zoo 85 miles away on the Welsh coast was shot on the orders of the local council. Some locals say, however, the beast of Blyna is a big domestic cat. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.